people um, who had their water shut off oh, man, all, all the way back in 2010 and now uh, a week before Christmas the city comes in and uh, red tags the house and evicts them. I mean, come on people, where, where, where's the humanity? I, mean, I understand you got to have health standards, but uh, you also got to be reasonable with people and give them opportunities to step away from the corporate paradigm. It's like if these people would have um, said something to me, I could have put in an interior water system, uh, cistern off the roof where they could be washing their clothes and um, flushing their toilets and, and paying the city some minimal amount just for the use of their sewage. There could have been a kindness to it, you know. It's like uh, there's there's no room in the corporate inn for people in that circumstance. And it's just not right. The same kind of nonsense occurs for people who can't afford their heat uh, so, um, or, or their electricity. And there are alternative ways to do those kinds of things. If you just had the structure that would enable that to happen. It's like um, you can put solar panels on a house and a windmill on a house and you can run a 12 volt system and you don't have to live in darkness. And um, that's doable and it's renewable. And once the expense is incurred, it's like that's it, unless something breaks. And it's like there ought to be opportunities to do that. And it's like um, all the food that we throw away in this country and yet we've got people who at Christmas time don't have enough to eat. And it's absurd. It's ridiculous. And yet there are laws that say you can't go into the dumpsters or into the back of the restaurants and get that food. Um, ask the companies, to, the corporations to give that stuff away. They just won't do it because it might infringe on somebody who might have come in and bought it. Um, I remember doing that at a shoe store where uh, I went into the dumpster where there was literally hundreds, actually hundreds of shoes, and every one of them had been cut uh, with um, uh, a box cutter. And I said, what on, I saw the guy and I said, what on earth are you doing cutting shoes like that when there are so many people who need them? And he said, well, it's a corporate policy. One of my least favorite phrases. A corporate policy that said we might uh, miss out on a sale if we just toss them out and don't cut them, and so we're going to cut every one of them. Uh, I mean, th this is the ludicrousness uh, of the system that we have. We have all of these resources in what is should be the wealthiest and most generous country in the world, and yet it's America not being what our founding fathers wanted us to be. Um, and it's like, oh my. Can you not see that the way that this 1% is doing this stuff is just not right, is just not good? That it is so far from, in this season of Christmas, so far from what we should be doing in terms of giving. Uh, it's, it's, it's so frustrating to me to see this happen. Um, I drive down here from, uh, from the north side today and I see all the houses that are just falling down um, because the, the government and the corporations can't find a way to get those into the into the hands of people who could live there. It's um, it's just wrong. It's just wrong. We need to make some changes. We do. We need to occupy some.